Welcome back to Steal the Spotlight. Today I have yet another thrift haul and I feel like by this point I don't really have to explain myself. You guys just know that I love op shopping and sharing the stuff that I got. So I have a few things here today. I was going to do my homeware haul this time around because quite a few of you said you would be interested in seeing it but I'm just waiting to go to the chip shop on the weekend because I might find a few extra things but that will probably be up really, really soon as well. First up is just one random item I found at the op shop called Neighbors Aid. It's in the little Launton hotspot that I always go on about. And this is the little dress. I just really loved the burgundy sort of rose print. Definitely has a very 90s feel to it. And it is a little bit boxy because it's a size or two too big. But I think that that kind of boxy silhouette actually looks pretty good if it is quite a mini length. So I think I'm just going to shorten it a little bit and that will be really, really cute then. I know the slip dress cami top trend is kind of on its way out, but I could not pass up this one because the colour was just too gorgeous. I absolutely love it. It has a completely lace front, so definitely the sort of thing I'm going to be styling over just a basic white tee. And for $2, I figured I couldn't really go wrong. So everything else in this haul are things that I picked up from Vinnie's today because they have this 50% off sale on all of their clothing Queensland wide, I'm pretty sure it is. So I went a little bit crazy, but before we get into it, we'll do like an accessories speed round. The first thing are these earrings I'm wearing at the moment. I'm still on that red bandwagon, so I'm really excited to add these ones to my collection. The other jewelry item is this unusual little leopard print bracelet. It even has the furry texture and everything. I've never seen anything quite like it, but I thought it would be a little bit of fun. The other accessories are just two belts. The first one being this really basic black canvas D-ring belt. I thrifted one of these like a couple of videos ago in a khaki and I finally found one in black. And the last belt is this really bohemian style. The buckle is massive on it, but I think it'll actually team up really well with some maxi skirts for like a festival inspired sort of look. Okay, finally moving on to all the 50% off items from Vinnie's. The first one is by far the brightest thing I found and it's kind of like the oddball of this entire haul. It is this hot, hot, hot pink mini skirt is just originally from Zara but with this sort of style of pocket it really gave me 1960s sort of vibes so I think you could really team it up with a really mod ensemble or alternatively you could totally make it work for like an Elle Woods legally blonde outfit as well I've been thinking of doing that kind of like early 2000s ultra girly style inspired by Elle Woods and like Paris Hilton and stuff so let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. If any of you guys saw my previous video which was like my New York Fashion Week trends and just recap of my favourite shows, one of the ones I spoke about was E. Dunn's collection. I absolutely loved it and a lot of the looks featured some zebra print which I thought was really interesting. You guys know I already love like all animal prints so I really wanted to add some of this to my collection so I was pretty stoked to find this zebra print vest it is a little bit daring I guess but I think it'll actually be really really wearable if you team it back with an all black outfit so this will be a really fun piece to style this next skirt isn't my usual style per se it kind of leans more on the preppy side of things but for some reason I just instantly fell in love it is this checkered wool skirt that hits about the knees and let me know if you guys get this vibe as well, but it totally reminds me of Rachel Green from Friends, but not in the early seasons, kind of like once she has her shit together a little bit, I could totally see her wearing something like this. So maybe that's why I was really drawn to it. Okay, my bad, because this next one isn't actually from the Vinny sale. This is something my mum picked up, up in her like small town where the prices are so much cheaper. And I think theirs is a Selvos up there, but this is like a little leopard twin set. Like my eyes just lit up when she sent me a picture of this and she got it for only $2. So that's like the little cami and I guess like a cardigan sort of style over the top. And this definitely isn't gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I am all about that like cheetah print life at the moment. So very, very happy to have this one. So last but not least, I picked up two jackets. Totally not weather appropriate here at the moment, but I couldn't pass them off, especially when it was half price. 
So the first one is this red burgundy sort of faux leather jacket. I think it looks kind of tacky on camera, but in person it just has like a really cool factor to it and it fits really well too, which is an added bonus. Once again, the sort of thing that I think will look really good team back with an all black ensemble or those kind of like washed black mum jeans I have with my little 90s sunglasses could definitely be a look. I had to save my absolute favorite till last. I found this faux fur pinstripe coat and tell me this doesn't remind you of the coat that Marc Jacobs just sent down the runway at New York Fashion Week. And I picked it up for only $10. I'm so excited to include this in my lookbook that's coming really soon of like designer looks for less. I think it's really cool that you can find super on-trend pieces in the op shop for a really good price. That is everything I picked up this week from the op shop. Make sure you guys let me know in the comments which item was your favorite or of course if you guys have been thrifting lately then let me know what goodies you found. If you guys do enjoy these videos be sure to give it a big thumbs up for me and subscribe because there's a lot of cool content coming up very very soon including a vintage denim haul which I'm really pumped about but in the meantime I might see you over on my Instagram at steal the spotlight but anyway thank you guys so much for watching